It has now been 14 and a half years since the Detroit Fire Department lost one of its shining stars, firefighter Walter Harris. He was killed fighting a fire that a jury determined to be arson, and a man named Mario Willis is still in prison for that fire. But it's a conviction that doesn't add up to many, and that certainly includes his determined mother, Maxine. If you said to me, Maxine, what would you want in a son? That's my Mario. Maxine Willis loves to talk about her son. Smart, dynamic, passionate, driven, everything good except his address, which is currently the Saginaw Correctional Facility. When a person is incarcerated, the whole family is locked up. For more than a decade, this has been Maxine's cell, the basement that she's turned into an evidence room. Anything to do with the report. This Mario is Willis is serving a 30-year sentence for second-degree murder, convicted of arranging an arson that killed a beloved Detroit firefighter. It's been 15 years since the night Walter Harris lost his life. The central figure in the investigation was Darian Dove, a handyman Willis often hired. The night of the fire, he and a woman were using an empty house owned by Willis for a rendezvous. Dove said he started a fire with a little gasoline for them to keep warm, but he said the fire got too close to the gas can. Suddenly, the place was aflame, and he called 911. Detroit firefighters arrived and worked to extinguish the fire, but it turned to disaster when firefighter Walter Harris was killed as the ceiling collapsed on him. When a first responder is lost, understandably, the investigation intensifies. Dove says he was pressured to change his story to say it wasn't an accident. Bill Proctor is the longtime Detroit reporter who now works on innocence appeals. I think it's criminal here that someone with a badge, someone with authority, convinced someone to lie. Eventually, Dove did change his story and told police Willis paid him 20 bucks to burn the place down. The house is gone, but this is where that fire occurred back in 2008. Couple of issues here. First, Darian Dove was the one who called 911. Arsonists aren't usually the ones who call the fire department. But the bigger issue, perhaps, prosecutors suggested to the jury that this was a case of insurance fraud, burning down a house in exchange for the insurance money. What wasn't explained to the jury was that Mario Willis didn't have this property insured against fire. He didn't stand to make a dime. The jury was also told the burn pattern suggested arson, but a later forensic study supported the accident theory. While Maxine and I sat and talked, the phone rang. It was Mario calling from prison. Clearly there were some mistakes in the prosecution, but um, there were some pretty glaring mistakes in your defense too, right? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, uh, unfortunately, my trial attorney... He, he felt like his exact words to him, you know, Mario, uh, this is going to be, be a formality at best. Now, Mario knows it is hardly unusual for an inmate to proclaim his innocence. When I came in here, I said, oh, my God, everybody's innocent. No one did. <laughs> and so I said, OK, we have to show this through evidence. Just as I talk to you, sir, I will compel you to look through everything. That's fairly easy, thanks to Maxine's exhaustive work in her home and online. She sees a lot of similarities in Mario and Walter Harris, and her heart breaks for Harris's wife, Siri. She was quoted saying that if there's been anything hidden, any wrongdoing, any egos involved, it needs to come out. So we're both looking for the same thing, the truth. The jury didn't hear the whole thing. The jury never understood that this was an accident because they had so many people in government telling them no, this was a conspiracy. They lied. They manipulated the truth. They sent two innocent men to prison. This should not be. Now, innocence cases always require an army. Maxine Willis has been tireless, as has Bill Proctor, Mario's new attorney, Craig Daly, and Eddie Allen, I should mention, of the Metro Times, who's covered this from A to Z. It is now in the hands of the Wayne County Conviction Integrity Unit. We have confirmed that. So Mario and his team now wait. Such a force. I mean, taking a look at that basement with yeah. all those documents. Oh, yes, yeah. What about it's Walter amazing. Harris's family? Have you talked to them? Uh, I did. I talked to uh, his son, Robert. His son, Robert, is now an attorney in Ann Arbor and oh. told me that the family has been fairly consistent on this. Whatever happened, they want to know the truth.
Also, I have to point out a terrible development for the Willis family. Aside from this case, a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, a wrong way driver on I-696 killed her son, oh. Marvin, Mario's younger brother. Oh it's just too much, but life has really been a study of despair for the Willis family. But you, you, you can't, no matter how you feel about what happened with the fire, you can't help but admire uh, the grace oh and, and doggedness and determination of, of Maxine. Yeah, her yeah. tenacity. I'm yeah. hoping, hoping that some truth will come out. Yeah, I hope so too. Story, yeah, thanks.